I'm Michael Gerardo, and I'm here today to talk to you about the investigations at Three Mile Island and the impact they have had on the nuclear community since then. To begin with, after the events at Three Mile Island, two investigation committees were formed to determine the cause of the accident and what could be done to prevent future nuclear accidents. John G. Kameni was the chairman of the President's Committee, created by Jimmy Carter. The other committee was created by the NRC and led by Mitchell Rogovin. Both of these committees performed in-depth examinations of the many factors that attributed to the disaster at Three Mile Island. This included an investigation of the NRC itself, the nuclear power industry, nuclear plant operating personnel, plant design, and emergency planning and response. While each committee performed the independent investigations, the results were nearly the same. One of the biggest issues noted by the committees was the structuring of the NRC itself. Both Kameni and Rogovin agreed that the commission-based design of the NRC was not effective. It was recommended that the commission be dissolved and the NRC be led by one single administrator. They also recommended to move all major administrators to one singular office. Their reasoning was that too much information was being miscommunicated or mismanaged. In the end, President Carter decided to maintain the commission format of the NRC and submitted the reorganization plan No. 1 of 1980 to strengthen the NRC by giving the chairman the powers needed to effectively manage the organization. Other notable problems with the NRC was an ineffective safety inspection system. Both committees recommended more frequent inspections as well as major unannounced inspections. The committee report focused on developing set criteria for license removal or suspension, while the Rogovin report focused on how best to inspect plants. The Rogovin report also recommended developing regional offices to ease the burden of inspection by allowing NRC inspectors to operate in set areas. As a result, the NRC currently has four regional offices and is used to control the inspections of all nuclear power plants in America. Another issue discovered by the committee was the nuclear industry itself. The Rockman report noted that there was no requirement for the utilities to report failures to the vendors, which made it difficult for operating plants to learn about the possible flaws of their components. The committee report further developed issues with the nuclear industry by recommending that the industry itself create its own safety policy and police itself. The Institute of Nuclear Power Operations was created specifically due to the events at Three Mile Island. They are an agency outside of the NRC created by the nuclear industry to assess the safety of reactor plants, ensure the effectiveness of training of their operators, and perform analysis of significant events and ensure the information is disseminated to all operating plants. One of the major factors that had contributed to the accident was human error by the plant operation personnel. Both reports noticed that most of the operator's training was spent on normal day-to-day -day operations and little was spent on emergency actions. Contributing to this was an improper use of the simulation training environments. Simulations would not continue if the accident occurred since they were mainly used for training on normal tasks, as well as the fact that not all simulators were based on plant design of the operating plant. It was agreed that more training should take place in the simulators and be focused on emergency actions. The commander report recommended having accredited training instructors to qualify incoming operators as well as maintain the qualification of current operators. The Rogovin report also recommended having NRC qualified supervisors being available at every plant. Currently, accident training is focused to stress the importance of maintaining the core covered first and foremost. In addition to the improvement of training, the Institute of Nuclear Power Operations created the National Academy for Nuclear Training, which is used to ensure the training of all plant operators is adequate. In addition to the human errors, further complicating the disaster were the inherent design flaws of the plant. Both reports noted a severe lack of planning when it came to the layout of the Three Mile Island control room. The grouping of key indications with this organ design did not designed to mitigate emergency actions which resulted in complicating the accident. The Rogovin report also noticed several line of sight issues that would block most indications to an operator standing at their post. Other issues were positions of indicator lights and their respective switches. Both reports harped on the outdated alarm recording system, which was dumped numerous times in order to give the operators updated information on the casualty. The Rogovin report also investigated two additional power plants to determine that the control room design issues was, this, was not just an issue at Three Mile Island. At the time of Three Mile Island, Three Mile Island Unit 2 was shut down for overhaul 
and was not allowed to restart until much of these control room design flaws were corrected. Over the years, control rooms have been redesigned with these recommendations in mind. Currently, no control room is in operation that does not have a safety parameter display system to provide a continuous monitor of plant status. Another key issue in the events at Three Mile Island was the emergency response, specifically was the evac of emergency planning that was in effect. Both reports recommended that FEMA take responsibility for the planning of emergency procedures with assistance from the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. It was recommended that prior to a plant being granted an operating license, a detailed emergency action plan must be developed and approved by the NRC and FEMA. Emergency planning has developed greatly since the event at Three Mile Island. Every plant now has a detailed emergency plan for multiple types of scenarios and includes assistance from all state personnel. Drills are used to perform by plant personnel and state workers to assess their understanding of the procedures. The results of the two reports can clearly be seen by the decreasing number of significant events that have taken place at nuclear power plants. Starting in 1985, with 2.5 events per plant, the number dropped down to 0.1 events per plant in 2007. Similarly, the number of safety systems actuations decreased from approximately 2.7 per year to approximately 0.25 per year. With about 104 operating plants in the U.S., this equals about 25 actuations in a year. Also, the number of automatic scrams occurring decreased from an average of 5 per plant in 1985 to about 0.5 plants in 2007. This is a decrease from about 500 scrams in one year to only 50 in a year. While the events at Three Mile Island were disastrous, no deaths occurred from it and the U.S. nuclear power industry was able to learn much from it. Without the wake-up call that America received from this event, a bigger disaster could have occurred. <laughs>